Hey guys, this is Joe, and today I'm gonna show you how to uh, install and run WordPress at localhost using XAMPP server. First, we're gonna need a couple of tools in order for us to proceed. The these tools: uh, XAMPP server, WordPress files, and an editor. In this case, we use Komodo. Now let's download and install XAMPP. Okay, I'm using Chrome browser. I'm gonna search in uh, XAMPP download and Quick Apache friends, and let's locate the XAMPP. Hold on here, or you can choose USB light or that the portable edition. The next one, you click Installer. Now you wait for five seconds in order for you to get the file. Now here I already downloaded it into my XAMPP folder. Uh, let's open it and load it up. Click next. Uh, next. Okay, so, so we're good to go and install. Okay, it's done and we're finished. Click yes. Um, now automatically it's gonna be it's gonna load up the ZAMP control panel. Now we need to activate it, the uh, Apache and MySQL first. I'm clicking start. These two. Okay, to check whether the, our PHP uh, our XAMPP is running on our local host. Let's try to type in um, local host on our browser. Okay, here we go. Now we have running XAMPP um, server. Okay. Now next we're gonna download the WordPress. Now I already downloaded here by clicking the download but button and um, we're gonna extract this by right click the mouse and click um, sorry extract all or the second me method is uh, by dragging it and click extract and locate into the destination and you can choose a destination where you're gonna throw the files okay let's delete this I'm gonna use this and since we already extracted here on this folder okay guys now that we have a fully running uh, ZAMP server on our uh, local host next thing we're gonna do is uh, download the Komodo uh, editor it's uh, free by the way uh, it's an alternative to uh, Adobe uh, Dreamweaver and uh, if you're com comfortable with uh, Adobe Dreamweaver just go ahead but in this uh, tutorial I'm gonna use uh, Komodo uh, editor okay now let's proceed in downloading Komodo type in Komodo edit and click download here and click this button and it's done save it okay now setting up WordPress uh, locally this is a very tricky part in installing WordPress. First, what you're going to do is um, install or set up the database first on phpMyAdmin manually. But first, let's locate our WordPress um, htdoc files. This is where we're gonna install our WordPress. Click Explore. Now click htdoc this is where we're gonna install our WordPress now let's uh, now I have already the downloaded the WordPress here what I'm going to do is copy this uh, over to the Etsy doc and now we have a WordPress um, installed on our XAMPP what we're going to do is um, first locate your WP config sample file duplicate it and rename the copied file and now we have WP config let's open it up and let's edit it now we have a login credential all the database info here I already have my setup here so I'm gonna ju just copy it over Now this 
this is very important here the security keys just copy this URL to generate uh, security keys it's gonna be a unique so let's paste it over and uh, let's copy this and let's get back here and paste it okay uh, save it mm -hmm. okay now what we're gonna do is visit PHP my admin this is very important you you need to do this now by default this is gonna be in some German language so you're gonna set it up in English here so let's proceed to database to create a database for our WordPress now our database name should be the same here create okay now that we already created our database it's gonna be um, here I'm gonna and let's proceed and add a new user just for the sake of example let's admin localhost should be localhost and the password should be the same on your wb config file so you must remember it okay next one should be grant all privileges and let's check check all hit go and there you go now we already set up our database for our wordpress okay let's visit our wordpress site Type in WordPress since that our for folder is named WordPress, so we're gonna type in WordPress. Okay, now we're in the installation page of WordPress. Uh, type in for the sake of example, uh, we have my first WordPress site and uh, admin password. And then now, this is very important if you have at this uh, testing server, so you need to uncheck this because we don't want to uh, we, we don't want Google to visit this page since it's gonna be empty so let's log in okay now we have a running WordPress site on our local server let's try to run there you go now we have a fully running WordPress site on our server. Thanks for watching.